Eligibility to represent a school in interscholastic activities is a privilege students attain by meeting the requirements established by the Missouri State High School Activities Association and the Fort Zumwalt School District. Fort Zumwalt is proud of the opportunities offered through athletics, cheerleading, dance, and activities. We look forward to the many successes you will experience, friendships that will be established, and lifelong memories that will be treasured as you compete and participate in the Fort Zumwalt Interscholastic Program. Maintaining your academic eligibility is essential. Display the same determination in your academic pursuits as you do in athletic competition. With this in mind, it's important to remember the following. You must pass at least three credits in the preceding semester of attendance. Credits must be completed prior to the close of the semester. While a summer school credit can help in meeting this requirement, it must be earned by taking a course required for graduation. Elective courses do not count. You must be currently enrolled in three units of credit. Do not change your schedule without consulting your coach, the activities coordinator, or your counselor. In order to participate in MISHA activities, you must be a resident of the Fort Zumwalt School District and living with your parents or legal guardians. Athletes with other living arrangements must request a hardship waiver from MISHA through the activities coordinator. It is important that you attend all practices and contests unless you are excused by the coach. As a member of a team, your actions affect your teammates. Attendance at school is required for participation in a contest. You must be in school by the end of first hour on the day of a contest. If the contest is played on Saturday, you must attend school on the Friday before the contest. Any exceptions must be approved by the building principal. Players cannot receive money or any valuable awards for playing. Interscholastic participants must be amateurs. You must have no outstanding fines, and equipment from previous seasons must be returned. Students that represent Fort Zumwalt in interscholastic activities must be credible citizens and judge so by the administration of your building. Students whose character or conduct, whether on or off campus, reflects discredit upon themselves or their school are not considered credible citizens. Participation in interscholastic activities is a privilege, not a right. Any student involved with the sale, possession, or use of drugs or alcohol during the season, whether on or off campus, will be removed from the athletic team or squad for the remainder of the season and may jeopardize future participation. Any student athlete with conduct involving law enforcement should immediately report the incident to the principal. Any arrest, charge, or conviction may lead to temporary or permanent removal from the team or squad. MISHA regulations require that all charges and consequences be resolved before a student athlete can compete. In school and out of school suspensions prohibit participation of students in activities during the suspension, but may also lead to the removal from the team or squad. Suspensions will be reviewed by the principal and activities coordinator to determine if the student has jeopardized their credible citizen status. Smoking by an interscholastic participant, whether on or off campus, will result in a warning for the first incident. Any additional incidents will be cause for removal from the team or squad. The Fort Zumwalt Board of Education is proud of the students that represent the school district through interscholastic activities. As an interscholastic participant, you serve as an example of leadership and citizenship. Protect your credible citizen status in order to maintain your eligibility. Think before you act. The Fort Zumwalt School District believes participation and competition is an important aspect of education and should be used as a means of developing appropriate attitudes concerning competition, good human relations, knowledge, and skills. The Board of Education and the administration want all players, spectators, and coaches to exhibit exemplary behavior, ethics, and integrity to ensure an atmosphere that is conducive to appropriate competition and enjoyment for the event. Sportsmanship is many things to different people. Please remember these examples as you represent the Fort Zumwalt School District in competition. Give your best, and in doing so, you will influence others. Lead by providing others with the right examples of behavior. React as you would want to see your own teammate treated by helping an opponent up after a well-fought play. Cheer your team instead of booing the opposition. Accept the calls that don't go your way as part of the game, knowing that there have been and will be times when the call will go with you. In doing these things, you will send a message to underclassmen and probably to some adults about how real winners behave. Remember, respect must start with respecting yourself and caring about the image you portray before respect can be given to others. As a participant in sports, win at a cost that comes from what you give. Don't win at the expense of others or cheat yourself and your classmates. 
Alcohol and drug abuse are serious problems in today's society, and schools are not immune. It is statistically predictable and is within our experience that sometimes student-athletes may use alcohol or experiment with street drugs such as marijuana and cocaine. The Fort Zumwalt School District Board of Education wants our teams to know that they are competing on a level playing field and supports a voluntary drug testing program open to student-athletes, the dance team, and cheer. This program is intended to be a cooperative educational effort, not a disciplinary or punitive tool. The goal of this program is to prevent drug and alcohol usage and to educate student-athletes and parents or guardians about the physical, mental, and emotional harm associated with drug and alcohol experimentation. Student-athletes are respected and admired by a large segment of the student body. In order to participate in athletics, students are expected to be good examples of conduct, sportsmanship, and training, which includes avoiding drug and alcohol usage. Student-athletes are entitled to drug-free participation by their teammates. As a parent or athlete, you need to be aware of the most common warning signs of drug use. Depression, anxiety, nausea, facial flushing, dilated pupils, slurred speech, difficulty remembering recent events, and acting silly for no apparent reason. Some athletes may also be attracted to the so-called performance-enhancing drugs, such as steroids, in a misguided effort to increase their strength or endurance. Steroid use has several specific warning signs such as aggressive and combatant behavior, severe acne or oily skin, jaundice, foot swelling or water retention in the legs, quick weight or muscle gains, purple or red spots on the body, and or persistent unpleasant breath odor. If you know someone with one or more of these warning signs, encourage them to stop using and seek help. If you suspect a problem, contact the school, coaches, counselor, or nurse. Ask school personnel for local agencies that treat substance abuse. For additional information, go to www.drugabuse.gov or www.antidrug.com. When working as a team, athletes, parents, coaches, school personnel, and community resources can make a difference in the fight against drug abuse.